Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to model this solid general bearing in 3D. This is a isometric drawing of solid general bearings. So let's start. This is the 2D workspace. For 3D we have to go to the 3D workspace. For 3D you have to click here. then go to 3D modeling. Now this workspace is operated as per 3D now. And we have, we have all the options here. Because we have to create this one in 3D, we need a, we have to see the drawing. For this we will, another drawing and we will, we have to go here view and this is vertically we will make it small we will adjust this grid line we can off function in F7 So let's start. We have to go to solid here. Home, then southeast view. Create a line because our line is in an ortho mode. For ortho, we have to press function and F8. And now we will draw a line off. One twenty five and height is fifteen. One twenty five. This is thirteen, so we will go fifteen above. Now we have to change the UCS because if I will draw the circle here, my circle is no horizontal, but I want the circle vertical this direction. For that, we have to change UCS. This is the UCS. Click here and give new direction in this one, and X is Z, and this is Y. Now your UCS change. Now click here. Center diameter circle. Select here. You see here now it is exactly as per our requirement. And time diameter 25. Now we have to create R25. Click here. Center radius. And give radius 25. Now we have to join and we have to trim this one now for trim type TR and we will let this one. Now we have to change these lines to center line and here here we have to type L type line type enter click on load and select center ok ok select this one click change properties select here center one Change the radius 0.3. You can increase and decrease the scale here. Now we have to extrude 35. There is one requirement before extrusion. This line should be a single line. So 
single line we have we have to join this one type p edit select yes join now is single line now we will extrude this one the extrusion is 35 click on extrude select this one enter 35 now this is two this is wireframe you can click here and change to conceptual and some hidden one if you like this is hidden Okay, now we have to make a hole here, 25 mm, and we have to again extrude here. Click on extrude, select this one, enter, and give 35. We will go to conceptual here. Now we have to make a hole. For that, we have to use a command subtract so this is a solid editing here you can see and this is subtract command click this one first this one enter then this one enter we make a hole here So again we will go back to this view now we have to make this two hole here this one now if I, if I draw a circle here let's say it will be vertical I don't want vertical I want it downside now we have to change UCS again click here select this is my X this is my boy okay so we will get a line here 20 and here in the midpoint now click on circle diameter and diameter is 15 now we will extrude this one click on extrude select this one enter and give height is 15 this is greater now we will go back to the front view front is this we will go to right now we will mirror this one to that side If I my select mirror will not come because we change the UCS. So let's go back. Isometric type here twenty. Go that side here. Type perpendicular. Draw This is the orbit command and see here dia fifteen. We 
have to change the UCS. And uh, 15. We will extrude this one. 15. And now we will subtract this one. Click on here, subtract. Select this one, enter. This one, this one, enter. So we make a hole here. Now we have to make a counter hole here. Let's go back to here. This is in diameter 3. In diameter 3. Extrude. And we have to subtract again. This one to this one. You can make a counter here by putting the chamfer. So we have to go solid here. Click chamfer. So we we didn't send this mirror. Enter, enter, enter. So we make a counter here. Now we will make a fillet here. Fillet, select this one, type radius, give three. Enter. Radius three. This way also select enter enter. Move this one and we will delete these extra lines. And go to home. So in this way we make a solar general wearing in 3D from 2D. Minimize this one. Now you can apply any material on that. For material, you have to go visualize. Click on uh, material browser. And here you select which one you want. Let's say I want to here metal. So we have this many options here in metal. This is anodized blue, click here. And this material will only see if you click here on realistic. And then it will show the material. Apply one by one. And it's white.
so here you have to go view visualize here and we can change the shading here and put on and set user background select as per your requirement I will select ingredient apply So you can apply the material layer. You can control this one by adjusting the sharp edges here, village, as per your own uh, requirement. You can increase brightness here. You can adjust the uh, exposure bright or dark. These are the materials in this gunmetal here. In this way, you can adjust this one. So, again, we have to solid and we will come back to here. Let's say hidden. It will look like this. And in shade one, it look like this. Shade of gray like this. And we will go conceptual. So you can change the color by here. Change properties, and I will select. And here you can see different view also. Click on visualize and click on a viewport and let's say I want uh, three views and this is zoom and extend now this one I want to front view click here put in right this is my front view if you want to see this one side view click here and go front so you can change the modes here also let's say I want to do this wireframe wireframe in this way we can see the view also thanks for watching if you if you think it is good for you and please share with your friends and uh, hit a thumbs up button if you want any specific in new video please do comment in the comment box so i will make a video for that thanks for watching